Hey everyone, how's it going? So, we are back in the garage today. We've got a little project uh, we're gonna take care of. In preparation for the HID kit that I'll be putting in later this week, I wanted to rewire the daytime running lights. Stock, the daytime running lights use the, the low beams on both sides, but as soon as you put an HID kit in, it doesn't usually work. You either have to buy some extra supplies or you can wear out the ballast and the bulbs very quickly. A couple ways you could work around it. You could unplug the daytime running light fuse, which is on the inside of the car. You could cut the daytime running light wire underneath the underhood fuse box. That would work as well. Or you can rewire it to use different lights uh, as a daytime running light. What I am going to do is I'm going to rewire it so that my high beams are the daytime running light. So, first things first, got to find the fuse panel. Uh, this is the fuse box under the hood. This is where the wire for the uh, daytime running lights is. All right, so here's our fuse panel with the lid off. Um, the lid is held on with two clips and one or three clips to get the rest of the panel to come up there are about seven or eight little clips all the way around all right so we got all of the clips undone you can see the fuse panel itself is going to come up once we get our fuse panel up what i recommend doing is taking a piece of wood, a block or something, screwdriver, whatever, kind of sitting it under here to prop it up. That'll give us a little bit more room to wiggle it out and work with it. Underneath the fuse panel, there are a couple of plugs. And you can see I've already got one of them, already got one of them unplugged. This plug here would normally be plugged in right up here. To get it out, all you have to do is unscrew this screw right here. Loosen it until it pops out. You might have to pull on it a little bit, but this gives you the large connector. And it's actually the two small connectors on the bottom side. The large one I still left plugged in. So from here, I'm just gonna pull this out over here so we can see it. The wire we're looking for is underneath the small cover here. To get this cover off, you just have to pry on the four little white tabs. Try not to break these because this is kind of protecting these wires underneath here. So we got the clip off, or the cover, and here we can see all of the wires. There is one wire that we are concerned with and that is gonna be this yellow one, which is actually located in seven. So one, two, three, four. We've got an empty one is five, orange is six, yellow is seven. So the important thing with this wire is that if we cut this, we're gonna have voltage coming in through the fuse box into the wire, but we're also gonna have power coming from the left headlight left low beam to the other end of the wire. So if we cut this, we need to make sure we cap off the end that we're not using coming from the headlights, and then we can rewire a new wire onto it, the, the other half, to go down to whatever light we're looking to run it at. That yellow wire does a couple things. It's very important um, that we cut it carefully. Cap the side coming from the harness, and then we're gonna extend the wire, follow along the harness to whatever we're wiring it to, which in this case is just gonna be the high beam wire on the right headlight. If we wire it to just the right headlight, it'll also back feed into the left headlight. Just shrink wrapped that. So a nice watertight seal, which is good. Got the wire. So now I can actually put that cover back on. So put this guy back on, get
get this all plugged back into the fuse panel. I'm gonna run this wire and I am just gonna run it down here to the headlamp connector. So this is the headlight connector. It's got that nice slide style connection. So it basically sucks itself in and when you open or pry it apart, pushes the connector off. So I looked at a wiring diagram and from what I remember, the green slash black wire, which is that second one right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. That one is for the high beams. So I'm gonna cut this harness up just a little bit, trim that wire, splice in a new connection with our new wire, and that should power the high beams under the daytime running light harness or power. So before we finish everything off, get these wires back where they would go. Plug that connection. Before we button everything up, we're gonna give it a quick test. So I know for a fact that the daytime lights will not come on in this garage. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna back out of the garage. We'll see what happens. There we go, it works. So right now our high beams are on. These are a little bit brighter than the traditional daytime running lights, ugh, running lights would have been, but you can see that it is the high beams that are on and not the low beams. So. There we go. Everything works exactly as it normally would. One thing that I was a little worried about, wasn't sure how it was gonna work, was the uh, flash to pass or, you know, whatever you wanna call it. Um, pulling the high beam stock towards you with the daytime lights on, because typically in the old system, the daytime lights would have stayed on. You could pull the stock back and flash the high beams. So being now that the high beams are the daytime lights and you know you can still flash to pass or whatever, all it does is it puts it on full intensity. So yeah, I accomplished exactly what I was looking for. We now have the high beams as the daytime running lights. Low beams function just like stock. Everything works just like stock. Just a different light is lit up. So that is super nice. Um, I don't know if this is how the Commodores in Australia originally came or if they used the low beam like normal. Um, but what this allows me to do now is to put my HID kit in and not have to worry about it powering up when it shouldn't or destroying ballasts and stuff. Um, I bought a fairly expensive kit or a very nice kit. So I really didn't want to go through parts on a monthly or even yearly basis. So this is really nice. I'm glad I can keep the daytime running lights working and it's just going to work as a different bulb. That's exactly what I was looking for. So awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, you know, that's great. Please subscribe or comment or like it or, you know, whatever. Um, share it with your friends. A lot of people are just pulling fuses and stuff, which is quick and easy, but for not much more time or effort, you can keep the functionality of your daytime lights. It is a safety feature. It does help prevent accidents. Have a good week.